Mark Jacquesi, welcome back to BT Sport and welcome back to London. Finally. We've waited a long <laughs> time to get you back in London, mate. How long has it been? How long has it been? 2019, the last wow. time you fought. Duffy. Joe Duffy oh, yeah, was the yeah, last yeah, fight. Yeah, it's yeah. been a while. Uh -huh. yeah. It's been no, crazy. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to be back. I asked for last last uh, last show, but I wasn't. So now we're back. I'm ready to put a show. This is your, this yeah. will be your third time fighting at the O2. Happy hop stomping yeah. around, as you say, Duffy. The first time was your your fight of the night against Packlin as Packlin, well. Yeah, the knockout. Yeah, was, yeah. So another show for the fans this weekend. I say that's what I'm here for to put a show. It's funny your career when you look at your recent run of form. Yeah. Behind closed doors, it just didn't work for you. The results suggest it didn't work for you. Yeah. Did it take something away from your prowess, from your, you know, your, could you get hyped up enough in front of, you know, with no crowd out there? Or did it affect you in that way? No, it's, it's been, it was a lot of things happening uh, in between, like, physics if I didn't train. Because <laughs> uh, COVID, if you train in the gym, you're getting grassed up. So I didn't really do training or training outside, just doing pad work and running. Just in the park? Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I need to fight, so I fought. But it is what it is. And uh, with. Uh, so, so, wait one sec. Yeah. So, the fight of the night you had with Fiziev. Yeah. Probably the brightest new star <laughs> in the lightweight division. Yeah. You didn't even do any sparring I didn't, for? No. You didn't do any technical no. training for? You I've just got pictures in, in my actual living room. I brought one of the lads to grapple with me, and I pulled holes over my wall in my, my apartment, just trying to get some grappling in. But I didn't do much. There was nothing going on because of COVID. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. And obviously, the one in Vegas. The Apex, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I didn't re properly. And I got caught early. I went for a takedown and that happened. So I was like, you know, I couldn't I couldn't even complain. I couldn't get upset. I was just like, yo, get another fight. Just just take it in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what happened there. I just took it in as it was. And uh, yeah, couldn't do much course listen yeah. you bounced back in Columbus that was the main thing you got the win yeah back in the win column yeah your career has been crazy with the UFC because you came in with so much momentum behind you you had that sensational knockout at the yeah. first UFC London that you were on and we were like wow this guy's a ninja this guy yeah. is going to be highlight reels forever yeah and then since then you've kind of been a nomad you've kind of been going from this gym to that gym you tried yeah. America you came back from America yeah are you settled now? Because I can see you're on another new gym now as well. Yeah, no, I'm settled now. I feel like, especially like, in you know, where I live in Doncaster, especially, I didn't have like a gym where I can just say, this is my gym. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm always having to travel to go to different places. And uh, even when I go back home now, where I live, I still have to travel. So now I found, I found myself. I know where I need to be. I feel like I'm with Brad at the moment. I'm with All Star and the uh, uh, GB top team mm -hmm. with Brad Pickett. I feel this works perfect for me because I train with Brad in America and it just brings everything back that I learned there. And uh, in Sweden, I get pushed with like uh, likes of Kamza. Uh, Gorham yeah. just fought, yeah, I helped him out for his last camp. So I'm getting what I need. And uh, I feel going forward, not just that as well, mentally, I feel like I'm ready now. I feel like I was learning on the game. Like outside the UFC, I never lost a fight. Mm -hmm. I wasn't like uh, some kid who started um, uh, mixed martial arts when I was young. I started when I was uh, 18, 17. Yeah. So I feel like me being a UFC, just me, these losses, it brought me to where I need to be, and which I'm, I'm happy. I, don't, I have no, no regrets. Yeah. I feel now I'm ready to take on, take on the world. Yeah. yeah. Having that, I'll come back to that in a second. Yeah. Spending your time in two of the elite gyms here yeah. in Europe, all stars. And then down with Brad at, at GB Top Team. How yeah. does that work on fight nights? Are you gonna have a mix of coaches or? Yeah, I've got two coaches, yeah. Right. Yeah, the reason being, I feel like there's certain coaches I work with, they build me mentally. <laughs> I need them there. Mm -hmm. And Brad, you understand the game. I've got, I've got good coaches around me. I think they're the coaches that I need. Two best coaches from two different gyms. It works perfect. You don't have no, like, no egos around them, but we're all working together for, yeah. me, for, for my best interest. And that's what I need. Not like egos or I'm this, I'm that. No, we're all working for my best interest. Yeah, all yeah. working for Mark Jacquesi, which uh -huh. is what it's all about. Yeah. Listen, physically and talent-wise, you've always had the skills to make an incredible career in this sport. Yeah. Have you found your journey in the UFC, a lot of it's been mental? Battling with yourself as much as anything else? Yeah, with myself, mentally, I feel like just inexperience. 
if you look at my losses, I've lost against some of the top guys. Fizi, I've done hooker, uh, Nasra, and other guys. I don't know. They're all good, good, good guys. Yeah. And I feel like I didn't have that experience uh, before. Whereas now, I'm that guy who's experienced now going, like, going forward, moving, gaining top fights, because I needed these experiences, yeah. which I didn't have. Before, I honestly felt like I was just fighting because I was a tough guy. Where now I feel I'm going over game plan. I know what I've got to do to win a fight. Yeah. That's the differences now. I've seen you had a quote attributed to yourself recently which said, experience is the best teacher. It is. <laughs> and that kind for of sure, sums yeah. up this UFC yeah, journey for you. For sure, yeah. I've had, I've had my ups and downs. I know what I've got to do. Like, sometimes as well, you listen a lot to outside what people are going to say. Like, I used to remember people said to me, oh, you can't wrestle. And I, I'd go to a wrestling gym because I thought I couldn't wrestle. But I know how to wrestle. Mm. Oh, you can't strike. I start striking because listening to outside, you know, it, it could cost me, which it did. Yeah. Whereas now I, I, I listen to myself. I know what I'm capable of. I know I can fire. I know I can take shots. I know I can give it back. So it's about me being prepared and mentally ready to go out there and perform how I want to. When you say listen to outside, was that friends, family? Was it social media? Was it, no, you just know? social. It's everything. Everybody. Yeah, like just you, noise. Yeah. Because you lose a fight, you get random coaches saying, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. Sometimes I'm, you know, I'm inexperienced. I'm just listening. Oh, maybe I should. Maybe, I sh you know. But now I'm like, no, it's I'm in control. Like, yeah. I know what I gotta do, and that's the difference I feel. After your win in Columbus, there was a lot of chat about, oh, that was vintage, Mark Jacquesi. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, see, no, people talking. No, it isn't vintage <laughs> because you yeah. again you proved then that your wrestling's on point. Yeah. You know, so yeah. you're evolving. We can see your your skill set is evolving. Yeah. Well, I feel. Now I'm, I'm more complete. I know how to put my game together. I know, like I said, I know how it takes to win a fight, not just me trying to be all crowd pleasing for the crowd. No, I can do that, but with the time for that. But it's MMA. I have to mix my my style up because I'm all round. I'm just one one style. Yeah, yeah. Your opponent this weekend. Tell me about him. Tell me about the strengths. Uh, strengths. <laughs> now that's another thing I've been doing. Before I used to watch my opponents think, ah, oh, this is what we do. I'd watch maybe too much. And I'd get there what they would do, not what I'd do. Right. So now I don't watch them. Yeah. My last At guy, all. no. I watch one fight just to know to get there. And after that, I'm thinking what I'm going to do to them. And I've not watched anything else after that. Okay. Yeah. That's my mindset now going, not watch them. I prepare my best ability as I can and go and get the win. And it's part of that trust in your coaches. Yeah. That they'll do the work. They know what to expect. Yeah. They know what to work on. Yeah. But for you, it's just all about being the best version of you. Yes. Yeah. I'm yeah. Putting, putting that out there. Uh huh. Listen, the best version of you, I don't care what you say about the W's and all that stuff, the best version of you, version of you yeah. puts on a show. We always get that. <laughs> and in yeah. London, you've yeah. always put on a show. Listen, so you, you might can play it down <laughs> as much as you want, but <laughs> you're here for the bonus. Yeah. I know you are. Yeah. I'm here for the bonus. Like, when I'm saying, like, I put a show, it doesn't mean if I wrestle, I can't put a show. Yeah. You might exactly. see four suplexes, you might, you might see different things, you might see a knockout. Now, I don't know. I just know when I'm in there, <laughs> it's a show business. Yeah. I'll do what I've got to do. Yeah. Make it look good. Are you settled now at TB, at GB Top yeah, Team? Yeah, I'm settled, yeah. Working with Nathaniel, with Brad, like, uh -huh. is, is that? Yeah, I'm very settled. And like now, I'm, I've, this is my second cup with Brad. I'm living at his house. You know, I'm very settled and I'm, I'm, I'm happy where I am. And I feel like Brad is a guy who he doesn't have egos. Yeah. I tell him this, you understand? If he doesn't like, he will speak to me about, hey, what do you think to this? We we'll work together. And my other coach as well, uh, Selman, uh, All Stars, we do the same. We we'll work and one of me, we'll, we'll work together. That way it works perfect for me. Instead of me having just, I'm not used to that because I've, I've always traveled because I don't live in a one place where I've got this gym, this is where I go to. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to that. So I like to have people that understand me. And I feel like I had to grow into that. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, the Red Mohawks in town. That's all the fans need to That's know. That's it. The party's yeah. about to start. Best of luck for Saturday, yeah. man. Can't wait for Thank it. Thank you. Good to see you again, buddy. Cheers. Yeah.